my concern. Her program has now become a humanitarian crisis and it is a concern. It is a concern how the vulnerable and the helpless of Jamaica are being treated by Miss Dana program. Girl that they don't talk about Quiet with a big mouth Listen for the doubt Then call it Make you out for what you say to me Look at every single need If you got what I need Then oh I'll take you on like a big deal Legs you can hunt feel Keen ignition Just keep me full I got a meal Once in a while Feel all that I I know you like it Can't fight it let me address one thing. If you guys see and watch a lot of Miss Donna um video, you would see that this is this has now become a humanitarian crisis the way how human are being treated not only by her but also by her followers as I said they are very smart because they that she call her plankaterian they also a part of the issue they are very much also a part of the issue. You know, I want to send a shout out to Ashanti 630. Big respect. You know, they were the only one that took the initiative to listen and put um, Maxine um, concern or statement out there because everybody was only listening to Miss Donna. Everybody was insulting this lady. Everybody was, but never take a time out to understand life from her perspective. You know, I'm not going to get into that, but I'm saying that I don't want you guys to send message to my messenger. I want you guys to put it out there publicly because that is also another concern that on her page numerous of time people are being threatened people are being harassed people are being treated totally totally like a piece of garbage anything than a human i said what i said and everybody talking about um Miss Donna helping others. Miss Donna is helping others, but in what way? If I beg you a piece of bread, do you have to insult me? If I ask you for somewhere to shelter me, do you have to insult me? Do you have to let a half a million people cuss me out, treat me like a piece of garbage? Huh? That's what I'm asking. And I want somebody to un um, answer me. Answer me. Because I asked you for a piece of bread. I have to be I have to be called the worst name by your followers, by you. And when you feel like your followers don't do enough, when you feel like you don't do enough, you're sending for the police department for these vulnerable people, for these helpless people. I want the government of Jamaica. I want the government of Jamaica to listen to my concern. Her program has now become a humanitarian crisis and it is a concern. It is a concern how the vulnerable and the helpless of Jamaica are being treated by Miss Dana program. It is a charity program. What is the meaning of charity? You all can't come for me, baby. Because you all come for me, you all come for the wrong one. Because you all come for a strong woman. Because trust me, I will die for the truth one day. So don't tell me. 
don't tell me Miss Donna is doing good. Her program has now become a humanitarian crisis. And it is, and it is a concern that Jamaica need to look into. Because this type of behavior are now being highlighted in other country. That this is how we cheat the vulnerable, the desperate, the hungry, the homeless of our country. I am a Jamaican and we are not liberated. We are not liberated because someone decided you know we are gonna let them free we are liberated because somebody fought for it our ancestor fought for our liberation so don't come with nonsense somebody have to take the stand and i am taking the stand especially when i hear maxine's story I don't know if Maxine is lying. I don't know if Maxine is telling the truth. But after hearing her story and what the lady been through, and I see the comment, I realize that Jamaica have no at a place where you guys show no form of remorse for your own. And it's because of Miss Donna program. And she never one day tell you guys to stop. She never one day say for a person that say they have charity, that's not the way you act. So you all don't come in my messenger. You all, you all need to post it publicly because I want Jamaica to see the behavior. And this is coming from a charity program. You understand what I'm trying to say to y'all? Because I told y'all, don't come for me. Don't come for me y'all will be coming for the wrong one post one no need for post publicly can i run out and i run out right when i run out right can me never afraid yet me never afraid yet i have been homeless myself i have been hungry myself i've been shelterless myself i have been closeless myself and have to go to people like those and ask them for help. So don't tell me what you all want to tell me. Her program has now become a humanitarian crisis. Have a good day. Addressing this whole Miss Donna um, situation. She put up a video that she closed charity, but yet still people keep calling her. People keep showing up at her house. You know the person in the um the person that is the problem in this situation is you, Miss Donna. Let me tell you, when you are dealing with vulnerable people, people that maybe have some sort of disability, that are in deep poverty they don't understand that what they understand is i need help and i need it now especially when they have kids to feed i think you need to spend some time go back to school and get some education you can do a degree in case working that's the nearest degree to people that do programs like yours because i think you're a very illiterate person you're a very unlearned person and I think you really need to you really need to get yourself educated because they're not gonna stop coming to your house. They're not gonna stop calling your phone because some of them are in a very desperate place in their life and they're not thinking straight. Some of them are mentally challenged, so they are not able to process they're not able to process information properly i think you are the problem and you need to shut the program down completely because your program is doing more bad than good because you don't make no sense lady you don't make no i used to follow you you know i used to give you prompts but after i see how you're very illiterate very illiterate very making all these videos for what 
Making all these videos for what? You're dealing with vulnerable and desperate and mentally challenged people. Some of them are retarded. Some of them not retarded. I correct my word because that was change to disability. Some of them have disability. They don't process what you're saying. Especially the young lady, Erica. You know, she says something is wrong totally with the woman. That's why she keeps showing up because the kid's hungry. She's hungry. She don't understand what you're saying all she understand is i'm hungry and i know someone that can help me you're acting real illiterate lady shut the program down because you're just embarrassing yourself and embarrassing jamaica have a good day sure. and just never take